Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. The jail sentence for a drunk and drug-affected driver who killed four children in Sydney's northwest has been reduced on appeal. Samuel William Davidson was originally jailed for at least 20 years with a maximum sentence of 28 after he crashed into a group of seven kids who were out buying ice creams. The Court of Criminal Appeal has now quashed the original sentence and replaced it with a minimum of 15 years and a new maximum of just 20. Pressure is mounting on the Commonwealth to reinstate some pandemic-related assistance measures. A SNAP National Cabinet meeting scheduled for Monday. The Prime Minister facing a rebellion from states, union and health experts over a decision not to extend a $750 payment for COVID-positive workers. Travellers are being urged to take personal responsibility to stop the spread of two highly infectious livestock diseases. $14 million in Commonwealth funding has been allocated to efforts overseas and at home to combat foot and mouth and lumpy skin skin diseases. Falling commodity prices are behind a sharp drop in the markets. The All Ordinaries dropped about 1.5% before a marginal recovery. Comsec economist Steve Dalian says demand concerns linked to China's property sector have seen iron ore prices fall from April's high. We've actually got losses across most areas of our market, but it's really the mining sector that's doing most of the damage and that's because we've had a bit of a pullback in most commodity prices over the past day. Uh, Iron ore was down about 5% and has now fallen by about 30%. About 3% of Australian teenagers are believed to have a level of addiction to video games with experts saying thousands are gaming at pathological levels. A study has found those most at risk of developing internet gaming disorder tend to have issues with impulse control and often feel unsupported. Macquarie University Associate Professor Wayne Warburton says addressing risk factors can help break the addiction. Being socially isolated but you're online, you feel you have friends, having low self-esteem offline but feeling good about yourself when you're online, having not much control over your life offline but feeling like you have lots of control online. And the first wife of Donald Trump, Ivana, has died at the age of 73. The Czech American was a model, entrepreneur and mum to Donald's eldest three children. Ivana died of a suspected cardiac arrest. To sport, brought to you by Ladbrokes Mates Mode, the better way to chat, share and bet together. T's and C's apply and remember, gamble responsibly. Call 1800 858 858. The West Tigers have laid out a coaching pathway for the next five seasons. Tim Sheens will return as head coach next Next year before handing over to Benji Marshall for three seasons in 2025. And Tom Hickey will return for the Swans tomorrow for their AFL clash with Fremantle in Perth. In entertainment news, it seems Travis Barker is back to full health after being rushed to hospital with acute pancreatitis. The former Blink-182 drummer jumped on stage with Machine Gun Kelly to perform as part of Kelly's mainstream sellout tour. And Vince Colosimo could be facing jail time after pleading guilty to serious drugs charges. The 50 55-year-old Australian underbelly actor was charged with driving unlicensed and on drugs when he was pulled over in Melbourne last year. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update. I'm Susie Thompson.